What's up guys? Welcome back to Sinister Bunny Studios and welcome back to another episode of Sinister Cast, a podcast where I talk about music, my channel, and things going on in my life. So if you're new, consider subscribing. Now I have a few things to talk to you guys about today, but before I begin, um, I want to remind you to go check out the video that I released yesterday. I did this like sketch type of video um, and it wasn't something I was expecting to do. I got a new piece of gear and I was testing it out and uh, I just got so obsessed with what I was doing when I was doing the test that I turned it into like a full-fledged video. <clears throat> it also ended up being like twice as long as I originally thought it was going to be. But um, if you guys are fans of the original kind of comedic stuff I did at the beginning of this channel, this kind of falls into it. It's a little bit different though. More of like an actual sketch kind of thing, not just like a 10 kinds of people you'll find, a guitar center kind of thing. It's a, like an actual kind of... Uh, made up sketch like envisioned and written and created by me so I'll put a, uh, a link in the card right up above so you can go click that and go over to it I could put a link in the description as well um, or you could just look on my uh, channel and go look at it <clears throat> it's actually I had a lot of fun doing it so it's actually kind of funny to me at least but it's funny you guys have to let me know so go check that out let me know what you think of it um, if you really do enjoy it share it around um, that really helps get the word out and, uh, grab some new people. And, uh, I would really, 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 really greatly appreciate, uh, you guys sharing some of my stuff around there. Um, also another thing, uh, we are approaching the five, uh, no, we're approaching that five, the 400 subscriber milestone. I don't know why I said five. I kind of blanked. I got a text and I looked and I was like, okay, but, um, yeah, we're approaching 400 subscribers. We're like four people away from hitting 400. And usually I typically wait till I have like three or four people above a milestone to make a video or something on it just in case I lose people and drop below the milestone because then that's embarrassing and it's, I mean, it's not really embarrassing, but it's just kind of, I don't know, but I just like to be sure. But we're getting to that point. We're about to hit 400. So what are some things that you guys would want to see me do? Um, you know, there's a usual kind of stuff. I do like a Q and a, I can do that again, or maybe I can come up with a special 400 subscriber song, or I can do like a 400 subscriber live stream hangout, or I don't know. Just give me some ideas. What do you guys want me to do? Um, I do want to celebrate every milestone we hit now. So 400, um, probably 500 would be the next, I don't know about 450, Let's hit like the every hundred. So four hundred, we're gonna do a celebration. Five hundred, we're gonna do six hundred, and, and and so on. Um, but uh, even before we hit that, I want to thank all of you guys for helping me get to this point, helping really us get to this point. Um, you know, without you guys, uh, I'm nothing. I can't do anything without you guys. So you're kind of a core part of the channel, and uh, without you guys, no, there's no one to watch my content. Um, so I would really only be making stuff for myself, which in a weirdly narcissistic way, a lot of times you do end up making content that you like yourself. That's kind of the point. But um, you also like the fact that other people like it. So I enjoy the fact that you guys like my stuff. But um, but yeah, so you guys have to let me know um, some ideas that you might have about what I should do for 400 subscribers. Um, I have a few things in my head. There's a couple different things I could do that I've never done before. But uh, I'll just kind of have to play it by ear and see where things go with that. Um... So yeah, that would be very, very interesting. Um, it's just a weird kind of thing. This I, I remember doing the Q&A for 300 subscribers not too long ago. <clears throat> and uh, man, it just seems like things are starting to fly by. Um, it seems like those milestones are just getting hit quicker and quicker and quicker. I remember back when I was first starting out and I didn't really take this channel seriously. I just wanted a place to put some cool content and stuff like that out and um that's when I made like the Mary had a little lamb metal cover which is like the actual first original piece of content that I made for this channel and uh the the, the videos I put out after that were kind of sporadic they weren't I mean they were kind of planned but it was just kind of like whenever I felt like making something I would make something it wasn't like something I took super seriously um but eventually I kind of was like you know this would be really fun and cool to do 
in a serious way. And that's when I started kind of doing it. And then I kind of got into more of a schedule and started doing that. And now we're here where we are now. But um, it just, that getting those first bit of subscribers was tough. Like starting from scratch, that sucked. And like, I, you know, you end up watching, well, at least I did videos on like how to grow your channel, how to get more people, how to optimize your videos and stuff like that. And uh, getting to that first hundred subscribers was like painful and excruciating. And, you know, you appreciate everyone that comes along the way beyond that. So, like, if you have 11 people on there, you appreciate those 11 people. But you're always just like, man, I want that 100 because that's kind of like the first milestone and that first goal that if you reach it, it's kind of like a, a validation type of thing that maybe you can do something and maybe you're onto something. Um, but that was tough. But then after that, it's got pr it, after that, it's gotten progressively easier um, so at this point, you know, I'm not scrounging around to get people to subscribe. I mean, I kind of am when I make stuff, but like people just kind of come along now and you know, you get a, you get a, you get a, uh, repertoire of videos and stuff that you put out and you get consistent and people see that and that's what comes, it brings them in and all that fun stuff. And I don't need to get into all this statistical type of stuff about getting subscribers and all that, but, um, <clears throat> It's just a weird thing to think about because I, I kind of halfway noticed, but then my girlfriend said something to me the other day about, you know, you're almost at 400 and I was like, oh yeah, you know what? You're right. I didn't even think about that. I just kind of look at the number and cause I see it every day with people putting comments on my videos and replying to people and getting all these notifications and stuff. And I just kind of see the number every day and think noth nothing of it. I don't think too much of it, but then, you know, you kind of sit back and think, boy, 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 it gets kind of weird. I think, I think a really, really cool point will be probably 500. I think it's a good number. Like, yeah, 400 people is like a really good number to begin with, but 500, that's like halfway to a thousand. I know that's a really weird way to think about it, but that's in my head, that's kind of more 500 is more of a significant milestone than 400 to me at least, just because, I don't know, it's more of a common, like, marker, if that makes any sense, but, uh, like, you know, the big hopes is to hit that thousand mark and get beyond that, but that thousand mark is kind of, like, it opens a lot of doors once you hit that, especially with the way YouTube is now, and how you can try to monetize your videos and stuff, but that's, that's, that's a whole, whole another story, um, but yeah, and, uh, on another note, uh, I've been thinking a lot. Uh, one thing I do want to do is I want to get a new webcam, obviously, because the one that I have is really, it's a Logitech, but it's an older model. It only shoots in 720p. It helps that I shrink the video down here with all the stuff around me. It doesn't look as bad, um, but if you blow it up, you can tell it's only 720p, and I think it's like 30 frames a second. Um, <clears throat> I need to get another Logitech uh, the C9, C920 or C922 or something like that. It's uh, their typical um, webcam that you see. It shoots in 1080. Uh, and that's all I really need because then it makes doing things like this a lot easier. Uh, I know I used to record these Sinister Cast with my actual Sony uh, DSLR. And that was nice and everything because it's got a really great picture and the image quality is nice. And it's at a higher bit rate. There's a lot more, you know, detail and stuff there and more information. But the thing that sucks is that it takes so long to do. So when I used to record them, I'd have my camera set up and my microphone. And I would record them separately. I'd have to import everything into my editing software, you know, sync them, sync them together, and then export it. And that can take a long time. Especially when it's a longer Sinister Cast, it can take multiple hours to, to render out. And then you got to upload it, and that takes long, too. So when I do it like the way I'm doing it now, in OBS with the webcam, it's already just straight up recording the video and the audio coming from my microphone and putting it down to one file. So all I got to do is take it. I don't have to edit anything. I just take the video once it's done, put it on YouTube, and it's good to go. And that also 
saves a lot of room because I can record with this webcam endlessly. Um, as long as I have hard drive space, you know, it, uh, it, uh, it doesn't overheat. It doesn't have batteries or anything. It's USB powered. Uh, there's no issues. And same thing with the microphone. I can just go on as long as I want. That's how I can live stream and stuff. Um, with my camera, it overheats and it, it'll shut off, especially when it's hot out like it is now in the summer. Um, it also has batteries that will die. I think the longest I've ever been able to record with the Sony camera was like 40 minutes or so, but I had it up on top with the, with the screen flipped out to keep the heat from being trapped. And I had my little desktop fan, this thing right here, I have a little fan that actually is really, really nice. But I have that, and I had that right up underneath the camera to try to keep it cool. It was like 40 minutes or something like that, and it still ended up dying on me. And that was on one of my longer Sinister casts, and that was... I think that was the first one with Daniel on it. it remind me if I'm wrong, but I believe that's when it was, because then I had to turn it back on, and there's blank for a while. But, yeah, with this whole setup, I can record endlessly. I know I don't like the fact that it's lower quality, but... I do like the fact that I can sit here and talk to you guys for as long as I want, easily put out the file and upload it and be good to go. The file is not super huge like it would be for my camera because my camera can shoot 50 megabits per second, which is a higher bit rate, which makes the file size bigger. Uh, it's also, you know, just a lot more information. And uh, so the file sizes end up being a lot bigger, so they take longer to render and they take longer to upload this whole setup right that I have right now is just so much easier. I just need to upgrade the video. The audio aspect is great. I mean, I would like to get a better condenser microphone at some point than this uh, AT2020, but the AT2020 is actually a real workhorse of a microphone. Um, do a lot of my vocals with it. Uh, do all my, you know, talking on Sinister Cast and stuff like that with it. I use it when I game with my friends and my brother and stuff on, on Steam and on my computer. Uh, to be able to talk to them and uh, you know I have good audio I just want to upgrade the video aspect but uh, beyond that whole rate that whole rant um, what I was trying to get at is I, I, th I I'm not I don't have the money to try to take this kind of risk as of right now but eventually uh, I want to upgrade my actual main camera so I remember upgrading from using my phone for video and my webcam a little bit to the Sony that I have now. And do not get me wrong, that this Sony is an amazing camera. It takes great pictures, takes awesome video, but it has limitations. There's no headphone jack, so I'll, that limits audio stuff. Uh, it doesn't have a hot shoe mount or a cold shoe mount, which limits like accessories and stuff. Um, so what I'm thinking I might do is sell this Sony or take it back to the store that I bought it from. I might be able to get a return on it. I'm not sure. I think there's a warranty on it. I bought a warranty. I can't remember. I'll have to look back when I, when I, uh, first got the camera and find the receipt. It's in the, I keep it, it's in the box. Um, but if I can sell it and then buy another camera, like an upgraded one, that'd be great one. Because Sony has some other ones that, one, can shoot in 4K. That would be nice if I could shoot in 4K. It's not a necessity, but it's nice if it can happen. But I want to have a hot shoe mount or cold shoe mount. And I want um, an, a, a headphone jack or an audio jack input. Um, that way I can plug in my lavalier to the, the camera and just do kind of a situation like this. Just record straight to the camera with good audio. I don't have to sync anything in post. Um... You can also go bananas with the hot shoe stuff, um, adding microphones that way. If it's not a lavalier microphone, like, you know, like a road shotgun microphone that you see a lot of people use, typically vloggers use them. So you'll see them with their camera, like they'll have their camera out like this and they'll have like a, like a oval shaped microphone sitting on the top and, uh, stuff like that. And, uh, as you can see, this doesn't have it. It's just kind of the top you know, and, uh, the only inputs that I have on this, let me see, I forget. So I have a micro USB to charge the battery. 
the card uh, slot and a mini HDMI and that's all that's on this so I wish I had a headphone port but it does not um, but again this is a great great camera just oops did I just turn it on yes I did it just sucks with uh, future capabilities that it's limiting on um, but you know that's something that's probably more down the road now I would like to stick with Sony because I have Sony and I respect Sony and I like Sony but if there's something better from another company then maybe I'll go for that who knows um, and if for whatever reason any kind of uh, camera company someone from there or someone who knows someone from there is watching this or watches my videos getting a nice camera or something like that some kind of cool deal would be pretty freaking sweet yeah I know that's a shot in the dark but still you never know you can put it out there I could try um, I mean hey I'm at almost 400 subscribers and I have gotten companies come to me to send me free products I still have some that I got to email back because um, there's some more products I'm going to have for you guys that are starting to get cooler and cooler and cooler. Some of the stuff at the beginning was kind of like, yeah, you know, oh, that's cool. You're getting free stuff. It's cheapy kind of stuff, but not going to lie. Some of the stuff is actually really good, like the fee fine stuff. They make some good products, but, you know, just the fact that I was getting sent stuff so early was really cool and validating, but the quality of products that companies are wanting to send me now are getting better and better and better so I have some cool stuff um, lined up here soon um, for you guys um, it's just gonna take some time because it's 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 hard to explain I can get into it some other time but uh, when it comes to money and the way that I work with these companies about getting the product and stuff like that it could be kind of a weird situation and uh, financially I'm not in a good spot to just drop a bunch of money right now so it's gonna be a process I'll slowly get stuff over time like if I if I could go through all the emails I have with all these companies and straight up order all the stuff that I need just to slam out these videos and knock them out and get these products done and start using them and stuff like that I would but it's not so simple I'm gonna probably have to slowly do one by one and that sucks because then I have to kind of <clears throat> prolong my cooperation with some of these companies and I, I don't want to hurt like my my chances of working with them even more by taking so long to talk to them or to do the stuff or anything like that so it's kind of a weird dance of dance and balance uh, when it comes to that stuff but again I know some of the stuff that I've reviewed you you may or may not be interested in some of the stuff I, I would hope you would be because I've done a lot of microphones um, and some of them have actually been really good um, but um, like I said the stuff is getting better trust me take my word on that the stuff is getting better um, my hopes at some point which probably not anytime soon would be to have a company send me some guitar gear or camera gear at that like it's cool getting audio stuff don't get me wrong I like getting microphones and stuff like that it's awesome it's I can use them and it's an interest of mine and it's audio gear so it's cool but if I got some guitar stuff or some amplifier stuff or I don't know even picks or strings or some kind of cool gadgets or like camera equipment like you know lenses or another camera or like a GoPro type of thing or something that'd be awesome because 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 like I've told you guys before a couple times before <clears throat> I want to get a GoPro or a GoPro like camera because I want to get some new angles and stuff on my videos and especially my covers because again I can get my girlfriend to try to shoot some video for me and stuff but she's not always going to want to do that and I don't always feel comfortable just asking her to because I feel like it's a burden and I don't want to do that to her because I know she might not always want to and it might be kind of a I don't know but you know the static stuff that I normally have I can add some kind of movement and post I've done it before like uh, for example when I did the uh, metal cover of the Game of Thrones theme 
Uh, I added some movement in post to make it look like someone had a had the camera in their hands over recording it like that. Um, I think in my metal cover of the office, I did the same did the same thing where it looks like someone's kind of recording it because it's kind of moving around. But all of those were just my camera set up on a stationary tripod. They weren't moving at all. Um, but if I get a GoPro or something, then I can uh, clasp it to, I don't know, just different things all around here. And my guitar on, like, the headstock or down on the body or something like that to get some new interesting angles. Because, again, like I've said before, some of the stuff gets old and, oh, boy, I get tired of seeing the same stuff, too. So I'm not always 100% happy when I put out stuff. Trust me, I'll never be completely satisfied with the video. Probably never, ever. Just because there's always going to be something that I think I could have done better. But seeing the same angles and stuff all the time, to me, gets boring. That's why I try to change it up as much as possible. I try to change it up as much as possible. But there's only so much you can do. Um, so, you know, that is what it is. Um, phew, excuse me. What was I going to say? I had something else. I had something else that I was going to tell you guys, and I don't remember what it is. Hmm. Oh, um, here's something, I guess. I'll show you guys the, the microphone. So last week, I did the audio on this microphone instead of this, because I have my Shure SM57 mic'd up to my guitar cab, and I didn't want it to move. But the bonus thing is if you do pick up an SM57, not only does it come with a cool carrying case, but it comes with its own mic clip to screw onto a mic stand, and it is sturdy as shit, so it'll stay in place. You really have to try to move it to move it. But this is the Zoom H2N that I was recording with um, last week. This is what it looks like. Um, it's really cool, and uh, that's why I said I can use it for my lavalier because I have this. Let's see, get the gloss it's got a line in so you can put an external microphone on it. Uh, it's got the volume buttons because it's got a little speaker in it for if you want to hear some playback of what you recorded. It's got a remote thing for a remote and the accessory pack you can get separately. A line out for headphones and a USB uh, to run it off USB power like I did last week um, to record the audio for Sinister Cast or to pull files off of it and stuff like that. Uh, on the other side, it's got this weird... Uh, flick system this thing flicks so it's got a menu button it's got this flicker thing to go up and down and to push to play and pause it's got there's the gain control on it it's like a little spin spinner wheel and it's got a hold button so you don't push other buttons when you're recording and a little clip for like a um, carabiner or like a strap or something so you don't drop it somehow and uh, the bottom's got this SD card slot and that's the broken mount piece that I was telling you about you can see at the bottom where it's already chipped off this is a great microphone and all but they cheaped out when it came to the th to the threading for the 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 mount it's it crumbled and I remember when I got this is my second unit of it because I took the first one back for the same problem and I had a warranty and got this new one and unfortunately, nothing was fixed, like I said last week. And as soon as I was trying to put this on a tripod, it started to crumble, which was really disappointing because this is, this is such an awesome microphone. And, you know, it's got a light-up screen and everything. Not that you're going to be able to really read it because it's so bright. But um, it does light up, so it's backlit. So you can see uh, when you got stuff. And... Oh, it's too bright, but there you go. So, so you can see what it looks like. Right now, you can hear it picking up my voice. It's got live monitoring with those meters there. Um, it's on the XY mode, which is mono. And, uh, yeah, it's it's really cool. So, if this is something that you guys want to see me do a review on, because there, there's where you switch, I was talking about last week, the XY, the MS mode, two-channel surround, four-channel surround. Um... So if this is something you guys want to see me review because I've had it for so long and I've used it so much on so many different things, uh, let me know. I can I can do kind of a review on this. And maybe I can let Zoom know a little bit about how I'm upset with the way they did the bottom because I know I am not the only person that's had that issue. 
or ran into that issue or has some things to say about it. But if that's something you guys want to see me review, I can, I can, I can definitely do that for you guys. Um, is it something that I would recommend for you guys? Most definitely. It's very versatile. If you want to use it to record interviews or uh, a podcast even or just yeah, you riffing around or like a band practice, it does that. If you want to record uh, vocals with it, you could probably actually do it. That might be a video I could try to do if I do a review on it or maybe as a separate thing, try to record some vocals on it. I've done it before in the past. Um, it, it's really versatile. You can plug other things into it. It does a lot, okay? It does it does a heck ton of a lot. Um, I don't know what it is right now price-wise. I think when I bought it, it was like 160 180 something like that. But I've had it for... God, I don't even know how long. It's 2019. I've probably got this thing back in like 2013, 2014, somewhere around there. I've had it for a long time, and I've used it for so many different things. And it's such an awesome microphone, and it's fun to play around with with that surround sound because you can do some weird ASMR stuff and and uh, have people listen to it. Uh, it's really cool. It's a really cool microphone. Um, so, yeah, if you guys want to see me do a review on it, definitely let me know. Let's see, how long have we been going here? 26 minutes or so? Okay. Well, I think I should start winding it down. Uh, so, I guess I'll kind of recap. Um, I put out a cool kind of sketch thing. It's got a twist to it. Um, if you like darker humor, and humor that pertains around rock and roll and metal music and metal musicians... And writing metal music, check it out. Trust me, I think you'll like it. Uh, I'll put a card up and a link in the description for you guys. Um, on top of that, let me know some ideas that you guys might have for me to do for these 400 subscriber milestone. Um, some things you guys might want to see me do. Um, any of the usual stuff or something different that you might have a cool idea for. Uh, let me know on that. Um, let me think. Uh, let me know what you think if you want me to do a review on that microphone as well. And if I'm missing anything, I guess you guys will say something. I can't think of anything I'm missing right now. But, um, yeah, so let me know on those three things. And, uh, yeah, I, uh, I think that's it. I'm, I'm, whew, I'm getting kind of sleepy. We have the air on right now because it's kind of hot. My girlfriend's got her allergies acting up and she's taking a nap right now. Um, so I might have wake, woken her up by talking so loud, um, but I turned the air on to get us a little more comfortable and help her sleep a little bit, um, cause it can be hard to sleep when it's really hot and I'm sure you guys understand a little bit of that, but, um, I'm getting drowsy. Um, yeah, I'm going to cut it off here. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And like I always said, thank you so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out, guys.